Man, it really was almost impossible to miss out there if you were even anywhere outside. You probably saw it through the windows, too. This lightning show was just incredible out there. Chicago here now. Chicago, you and I were talking about this just before the newscast. I mean, it looked like this was just all in the sky. We also didn't hear a ton of thunder. What yeah. was going on there? So sometimes you can have cloud to cloud lightning, and that's what was going on. It really was like a fireworks yeah, show. Yeah, it out really there. was. Unfortunately, severe thunderstorms accompanied that. I wouldn't be surprised if some people tomorrow morning find some damage, but the good news is all the warnings have now been canceled. So that's great to see. One thing we will have to keep tabs on, though, is the big time temperature drop. We hit 81 degrees earlier today. Now out with the storms, in with the cold and the wind. Tomorrow, I'm forecasting a wind chill of 33 and at 9 a.m., a temperature falling to 42 degrees. Outside right now, we've got 61 degrees. 81 was that high, so we've already dropped 20 degrees. The storm's still going, but they're no longer severe, which is good news. What's happening is, as that cooler air comes in, more stable. So we don't have quite as much energy. It's likely the reason that we saw so much lightning was the amount of energy with this potent storm system. So from Jacobs Well, out through Kyle Buta, on east north of Lockhart near Dale, up toward Bastrop and finally into portions of Fayette County, including those of you in LaGrange, points east toward Round Top and Carmine, up toward Giddings, still dealing with some pretty decent heavy rainfall. It's not severe, but LaGrange 1123 right now, it's 1118. Lake Fayette right around 1136. And then even though the heaviest and steadiest of the storms have moved out, we may see some non-severe stuff develop through the overnight. Rainfall totals. Areas in the hill country, you barely got anything. However, about a half an inch to over an inch, especially into portions of Bastrop County, which also unfortunately reported some hail. Future clouds and radar taking the last of these showers and storms east through the overnight. Anything new that develops not going to be severe, but favoring areas from Austin points to the south and east. There could still be some rumbles of thunder, so don't discount that. And then for St. Patrick's Day, starting out a little green, ending very gray, the way things are looking. Gray and cold too. All right, the cold front is slicing through. Get this, it's already 34 in Amarillo. Here at home, we're watching temperatures fall quickly into the 50s in the hill country, 60s in Austin, and 60s now toward LaGrange. Then the winds are really picking up behind the cold front. 37 mile per hour gusts right now out in uh, the Fredericksburg area. Peak wind gusts up as high as 40 already. We are under a wind advisory until lunchtime tomorrow, so we've got the wind to contend with. And then we also have the cold. So plan on winds gusting 30, 35 miles per hour. As for the wind chills, check this out. First thing tomorrow morning, 42 with a wind chill of 36 degrees. I hate to break it to you, but if you are a snow lover, well, actually, if you're a snow lover, you'll appreciate the fact that we could see some storms move in later on Friday night into early Saturday morning in the Fredericksburg area. I wouldn't discount the possibility of a little bit of light snow mixing in with some rain. For the rest of us, we could see some rain showers Friday night into early Saturday. Temperature only 55 for a high, 38 in the morning, Sunday 38. Early on Monday, that's going to be our coldest. Some spots in the hill country could flirt with a freeze. We'll be right back.